वेलकम टू मिनतीस एजुकेशन फॉर सी एस आया एन टी ए यू जी सी नेट सेट जे आर एफ गेट जाम आई आई टी द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन डी फैक्टो एंड डी जो रिकॉग्निशन इज वन डी फैक्टो रिकॉग्निशन मे बी विदड्रॉन वाई डी जो रिकॉग्निशन इज फुल एंड फाइनल टू ओनली डी जो रिकॉग्नाइज स्टेट्स कैन रिप्रेजेंट दी ओल्ड स्टेट्स फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ स्टेट सक्सेशन Three in dejo recognition, formal diplomatic relations are established, while in case of de facto they may not be entered into. Four former is legal and the latter is a factual recognition. A one, two and three. B two, three and four. C two and three. D one and two. Answer A. Here is a summary of the key differences between de facto and de jure recognition. De facto recognition. One is a provisional or temporary recognition of a state or government. Two is based on the factual reality of the situation, regardless of whether the state or government is legally constituted. Three may be withdrawn at any time. Four does not require the establishment of formal diplomatic relations. De jure recognition. One is a full and final recognition of a state or government. Two is based on the legal legitimacy of the state or government. Three cannot be withdrawn. Four requires the establishment of formal diplomatic relations. Examples. One, the United States granted de facto recognition to the government of Israel in 1948, but did not grant de jure recognition until 1949. Two, the United States granted de facto recognition to the government of the Taliban in Afghanistan in 2001, but did not grant de jure recognition until 2002. State succession. Only de jure recognized states can represent the old state for the purpose of state succession. This means that only de jure recognized states can inherit the rights and obligations of the old state. Conclusion: De facto and de jure recognition are two different ways of recognizing a state or government. De facto recognition is a temporary or provisional recognition based on the factual reality of the situation. De jure recognition is a full and final recognition based on the legal legitimacy of the state or government. The major differences between de facto and de jure are: one, factual recognition is known as de facto, whereas legal recognition is known as de jure. Two, de facto is temporary; it is not permanent like de jure. It is a temporary and provisional recognition which can be withdrawn. De jure, which is a legal recognition, is a permanent recognition and it cannot be withdrawn. Three, the recognition that is conferred by de facto is based on a factual situation and is not a process of law. De jure is a recognition given after following due procedure of law. Four, diplomatic representatives are not exchanged in de facto. whereas diplomatic representatives are exchanged in de jure five state succession rules do not apply in de facto whereas under de jure rules of state succession are applied six de facto government cannot recover a state asset or public debt whereas only a de jure government can recover state assets or public debt Seven membership to the United Nations is not possible even if there is a de facto recognition by the majority of states. On the other side a state can get United Nations membership if the majority of nations bestows de jure recognition. Eight the state which receives de facto recognition will have to rival governments. On the other side the state which receives de jure recognition has only one government. Thanks for watching. Visit again.